Good morning. I am outside again. It is not raining. Uh, however, there are biting flies here. So let's just jump right into today's topic from today.refrainmedia.com is it is finished. And we're going to be reading John chapter 19 verses 29 and 30 from the English Standard Version of the Bible. A jar full of sour wine stood there, so they put a sponge full of the sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. He bowed his head and gave up his spirit. As Jesus prepares to give up his spirit, he utters one final phrase from the cross. It is finished. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, God has made redemption possible for every person who believes in his power to save. Jesus has taken all of the world's sin on himself. The one final sacrifice for all people for all time. At times, you and I will be tempted to believe the lie that we are not worthy enough for God to save us. We may look at our past and think we are too flawed to even belong to God fully. Or we might get discouraged about a sin that we continue to struggle with in spite of our best efforts. We might compare ourselves to others and think that we are not doing enough for God in comparison to them. It is easy to believe that we must do, do more and be more in order to deserve God's love. But on the cross, Jesus declared, It is finished. No matter who you are, what you've done, or what you have failed to do, Jesus' death is payment enough to cover all of your sin. Though we can never do enough good to outweigh our sin or to earn God's favor, Jesus has done it for us. It is finished. The good news is that Jesus is enough. No matter your story, He is enough to make, your, to make you right with God and to assure your place at His side. Because of Jesus, we can have full, tie, full life forever with Him. Let's pray. Lord, help me, to find, help me to rest in the knowledge that your sacrifice on the cross is enough to save me. Amen. You know, we, <clears throat> we talked a little bit about this yesterday. It is finished. It's done. He's done it all. To say that you, your sin or whatever, is too great to overcome Jesus' sacrifice on the cross is really denying the deity of Christ. Think about that. He said it is finished. No one comes to the Father except through Him. He paid the price for all sin. Not some sin, not specific list of sins, all sin for all eternity, for all of those who believe on Him. So quit sticking with this worldly view of you not being good enough, or you not being right with God, etc., etc. It is finished. It is finished. I cannot say that enough. It is finished. He did the work. All you have to do is accept Him into your heart today. Can you do that? Do you want to do that? There's nothing stopping you. There is no preparatory work you have to do. Anything, anything that anybody tells you to do that you have to do in order to go to heaven that's more than accept Jesus Christ into your heart is a man-made thing. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. All those who believe on me shall have everlasting life. That's what Jesus said. So if anybody's saying anything contrary to that, they are contradicting Jesus. Those are in the those words are in the Bible. They're, matter of fact, they're in pretty much every different translation of the Bible. In in not in, in that in that almost exact form. So look them up for yourself. Got a smartphone? Get the Bible app or just go to Bible.com and look for yourself. You know, no matter what it is, English Standard Version of the Bible, New, New International Version, um, John's Literal Translation, um, King James Version, New King James, whatever. Um, they all say it the same way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way into heaven. So don't let anybody on this planet tell you otherwise. Tell you that you have to do certain works or do certain things. Now a lot of people get hung up on baptism and say, well, if you're not baptized, you're not going to go to heaven. Again, not true. Um, 
thief on the cross didn't get baptized but he was in heaven because Jesus said surely you'll be in heaven with me this day um, baptism is a sh public showing of obedience to God to Jesus and it's also a public showing of your acceptance of the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart that's all baptism really is when you boil down to it so don't get hung up on what the world says go with what the Bible says when in doubt look in the Bible yourself and if somebody tries to tell you different ask them to show you in the Bible where it says that now here's the trick you can pretty much get the Bible to say anything you want if you just take one or two verses out of context but the whole Bible works together it's all together um, so you may be able to find one little verse or one piece of a verse to support one idea or one claim but where is it at in the rest of the book where is it at in the rest of the book to show that uh, make sure that things aren't taken out of context look it up have people show you show me the verses in the Bible show me the chapters in the Bible that support whatever it is you're saying because if they can't do that then it's not biblical more than likely so go with that today go find a brother and sister to share Jesus Christ with today too as well we love you guys and um, Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow morning um, over on uh, my personal channel. Um, we'll be, like I said, we do this every day. Love you guys. Bye.